everyone. Welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly singles love reading for Cancer. How are you guys? Hope you're well. Cancer. See all the lovely fresh flowers I have here. Little pickings and broken flowers that I brought in to save their little lives for now anyway. All right, Cancer, let's see what the energies are surrounding single Cancers in their love life. Single Cancer. Here we go. So I see family. So some of you want a family. This could be a blended family. Okay. And I see the loving woman. Maybe it's something that you want or you already have. Yeah. Somebody's loving and nurturing here. Very caring. Beautiful. I see a lot of courage. See the energy of one. So somebody here looks like they're handling everything all by themselves here. Uh, or it's an energy of someone wanting a family, the loving woman. It could be someone the way someone sees you. It has to do with someone's courage, strength. See someone looking on the past with kindness and compassion. Beautiful energy. Yeah. Cancer. Beautiful, yeah. So it's an energy of walking away from something that's not emotionally fulfilling. You see, where, and it could be someone who's looking, looking for somebody who wants children, a family, but it could be a single parent. Yeah. Oops. We have, oh yeah, we have the birth of something new. Beautiful Empress energy. Cancer. This one, and yeah, so we have, yeah, see, it's an energy of, some of you have never really got what you wanted, okay? But I feel like you're about to be indulged. You're no longer indulging in something here, that's for sure. Now, maybe you don't want children, maybe you do. It could be either way. Could even be grandparents. Yeah, see, there it is. Looking on the past with kindness and compassion. See, some of you are definitely in that energy of something new. Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful healing energy. But I feel some of you have never really got something you wanted, you see. And I feel like you're learning here too. This energy of walking away. You're looking for something. Could be what you're looking for. Someone is looking for the same thing. <laughs> That's an energy of indulging, yeah. But, you know, the Empress offers one cup, nothing more, okay? Because I feel like you've offered, you can see the energy, see? You're, you're never getting that emotional fulfillment. Something's not emotionally fulfilling, yeah. So there's an energy of uh, decision, see? Failing to see, yeah. Some kind of a decision, yeah. So I do feel there's an energy of someone here. It's a person who often makes up excuses, okay? Somebody here who, you know, you could have somebody who's a little shy. There may be someone here you're not sure about. So we're going to see what that's all about. Often the Page of Cups is someone who kind of makes up a lot of excuses. <laughs> maybe it's yourself because you don't want to hurt somebody. Okay, or maybe it's another person. But someone's failing to see um, with this indecision. Yeah, so there's definitely some regrets. Someone's having some regrets for not focusing on that two of cups. See, the connection. They were focused on something negative, the cups that were spilled. So it's an energy of person who feels like it's helpless and hopeless. But it is a temporary energy. Yeah, see, we have some confusion, some kind of fears. It's an energy of two people being emotionally naked. See, someone didn't get something they wanted and they're afraid to face their fears. Yeah. We have the beautiful Empress. I feel as somebody here kind of lacks the confidence here to make a decision. I feel they may be apprehensive. Maybe it's someone who's just really shy as well. And we're going to see here. Yeah. So we see the tower moment. See, this is the energy where um, this is a massive healing, an epiphany. Okay. Yeah. So it looks like there's a decision. Somebody's about to make a decision to walk away, possibly from someone who's making excuses. I feel like you've indulged someone enough. You're no longer indulging. Okay. Yeah. The Empress. Beautiful. Yeah. Manifesting. See, you have all that with the Empress, you've mastered life. See, you're mastering this beautiful, that it's mastering the feminine energy, being mysterious. You see, that's the mysteries of the Empress. So we have a person who's going to try and manifest you, okay? But you're mastering life. You have all the tools, the information. You have everything you need, okay? Yeah. 
It could be an epiphany you're having, you know. But I feel like you have someone here who's uh, going through this, facing their fears, doing a little shadow work. Someone who failed to recognize this connection. I feel someone's having an uh, epiphany about the Empress. This new energy. Yeah, see, that's energy of nine of cups. Two people, see, somebody here never got something they wanted. I feel like you wanted something. Maybe it was a family, okay? Or you have single parents, blended family, whatever the situation. But there's someone who didn't get something they wanted. So it's also an energy of playing it safe, being cautious, you see? Yeah, you got a person manifesting you. It has to do with their courage. Someone failed to see something here. I don't know if it's yourself or this person. It looks like it's connected to the magician, Virgo, Gemini. It's something to do with the communication. Mercury energy. Hmm. Tell me about the two of swords. Yeah, so there's someone here is a little bit detached. It's often a person they're looking at the pentacles. See, this is a person who wants something to be successful, but they don't give the other person what they want. They want the other person to indulge them. So they reach out and communicate. They're shy, they're apprehensive. Okay, you can see it. You can see this person. They want you to indulge them. You're not indulging. You're no longer um, probably reaching out. Okay, this is someone who failed to recognize it. They never gave you anything you wanted. And it's a person who kind of wants everything for themselves. Yeah, page of cups. They're looking at it. That's what the page does. It communicates in a way where uh, they drop a little hint or they say a little something. And it's kind of confusing. You never really know what it is they want. They may be just telling you a story. <laughs> they could be shy. Don't make excuses for this person too. So maybe you've made excuses for someone and then you didn't get what you wanted. So really watch that energy. But it's this person who communicates in that way. They want you to indulge them and you're not. I, and they're failing to recognize See, they didn't get what they wanted because they didn't give you anything that you wanted. So you didn't get anything out of this. But what happens with this is nobody gets what they want. So there it is. This fresh new start, this opportunity. Someone's looking at this. Oh, yeah. See, you wanted that love. You wanted someone to share your their feelings. That one more cup, see, to emotional fulfillment. Someone didn't get what they wanted. They failed to see the way they were communicating. Oh, they're having a map. This is somebody going through like an awakening almost here, that shock, okay, where they all of a sudden realize um, what's happened here. So they have regrets. They were either secretive, okay, or they have a fear of commitment. <laughs> but it's an energy of someone showing their true self, their inner self. You see, two people being emotionally naked. See, this is that energy of the Empress. Wow. So this is somebody here who's, well, fear of commitment, absolutely. See, someone who's indecisive. It looks like they could have Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn in their chart, maybe Libra. Oof. And we have the Ace of Cups. So this is an energy of this, you, you're wanting this cup. Okay, you're no longer giving to this person. Okay, you're just kind of, I feel, focused on maybe your children, your family. You're focused on yourself here. So this is a beautiful energy here. You know what you're doing. You're loving yourself first. You're, it's an energy of healing. It's also Queen of Cups energy can be very intuitive. See, you're no longer indulging in this. You want that. This is what you wanted. See, somebody was being selfish or immature, focused on self. See, they were focused on themselves. They weren't focused on what you wanted, what you may have needed. See, you didn't get it. But they, in the end, they're not getting what they want. So it has to do with justice. Tell me about this magician. Yeah, see, it has to do with someone's confidence. See, taming the beast. You're teaching someone how you want to be treated. The empress. See, this is someone who needs to tame that beast within themselves. They have a habit probably of just focusing on themselves. Maybe they've been single a long time. I don't know. Definitely they have a fear of commitment. But it has to do with justice and balance and being fair. Somebody wasn't fair, you see. And they're having that epiphany. They weren't fair. They didn't treat you right. See, I feel overall it's an energy of you deserve better. The loving woman. Ooh. Yeah, it's a person who often talks a lot about themselves. See, it's all about me, me, me. A little immature. Could be children involved here as well. 
maybe a couple, maybe you each have a child, but uh, I, I feel it has to do with a person who's focused on that wand. <laughs> yeah, it's here for a good time, not a long time. Yeah, so you've got someone who's, oh yeah, we have someone, oh yeah, we've got a person who's definitely, they're seeing it. It's self, they're seeing this energy. Mm. Maybe this is somebody who, well, sometimes it can be a person who's a little fickle, can't make up their mind what they want. Maybe there was somebody younger. I don't know. But I really feel it's a person who, like I say, they kind of, you know, they, they want you to indulge them. They reach out and they want you to give to them what they want. But I feel the realization is you know, they never gave you anything. So this is that energy of walking away. Yeah, they didn't treat you right. They feel ashamed the way they behaved. This could be someone who has regrets from the past too. So maybe they weren't completely detached from someone else where they didn't get what they wanted as well. So, yeah, but you have someone here who's mature. See, I feel you've got this opportunity. Some of you have to make a choice, you see, to walk away from someone who's not right or doesn't treat you right. You may be the one having the epiphany as well here. See, ending a situation. You've got someone who's in their feelings here, though. Let me tell you, I, I feel like it's the same person, but it could be a choice for some of you. Yeah. Family. Yeah, see? Thanks, but no thanks. It's also an energy of someone who realizes they've missed a magical opportunity. The Empress, when that comes up, the magical opportunity, they fail to see See, you indulged them. You were there for this person. I feel like you treated them right. You were fair or tried to be anyway. But, you know, you have a lot to offer with that Empress energy. They failed to recognize it. See, they were focused on self, guaranteed. Mm. Apprehensive, maybe shy. I don't know what their issue is. Almost like they made up, a, it's like they made up excuses or you made excuses for them, maybe to your family. Okay, so... It's energy of recognizing that. So what does this King of Cups want? Generally love in a love reading. But what do they want? Yeah, this is somebody who feels the, uh, the ship has sailed. It may be too late. This is someone at that time in their life. See, they're waiting. This is somebody here who's kind of, you know, uh, waiting here. But I feel with your energy, I do see some Leo, Scorpio, Mars energy, Aries energy. Yeah, someone feels like it's the ship has sailed. It may be too late. Someone feels I've missed the boat, missed this opportunity. You may be looking elsewhere, but it's an energy of waiting, waiting for news, waiting for abundance. I feel like you waited for this person to offer you this. Some of you may still be waiting. But some of you too, like I feel if you are in that category of wanting children, you may feel like, you know, time is running out. You missed the boat. Or maybe this person feels that way. Yeah, interesting. King and Queen of Cups. Let's have a look at the loving woman. Oops. Yeah, see? Somebody making a life path, a life choice decision. Yeah, some of you may have a choice. Okay, which way to go here? If you have a choice between two, it's possible. I'm not really seeing two energies. I see this person feeling like uh, the ship has sailed. It may be too late. Some of you, like I say, uh, want children. Uh, maybe there's been this, you know, this opportunity. Some of you maybe, if it is somebody who has children, okay, maybe you're not interested in that too. So I can see that. But it has to do with this crossroads, this path in life, and this choice. It also has to do with taking something to the next level. See, someone has a fear of commitment. See, there's love here. See, this is a choice between two people. There's some kind of bond, a connection here. So it has to do with the two people taking it to the next level. See, look at that. Someone's fantasizing. Look at all the possibilities. Now, it could be someone who has a lot of options. They're uh, indecisive. They don't really know what they want. But I feel that someone here is um, starting to get in their feelings here. They're definitely looking at this energy. So it has to do with someone who's been procrastinating and making a decision. You know, some of you may be just keeping your options open. It's possible. 
they may have options as well. But I'll tell you, there's no one like that Empress energy. This is the mother of the children, you know. This is uh, somebody grounded, creative, somebody who has a lot of abundance, has a lot to offer. Uh, but I feel like you indulge someone and you're no longer indulging because you're mastering. See, you're mastering the Empress energy. You've learned the lessons from all the queens. So you're teaching someone how you want to be treated. You're taming the beast. <laughs> you see, you're not giving. See, you're not giving your feelings. You're keeping them all to yourself. No, nope, sorry, it's all about me now. <laughs> yeah, you see? Mm -hmm. so there's a bond or a connection here. It has to do with two people building each other up, not tearing each other down. Two people have... Uh, it's been a missed opportunity. And that has to do mostly with this person right here. The, the indulgence, indulge me, give to me. They failed to see. They give you anything you wanted. Tell me about courage. And they didn't get what they wanted. They were kind of detached emotionally too. It's often a person who kind of acts like they're not interested. They're kind of aloof. You know, they want something to be successful, but they don't really go about it the right way. And that's where I feel this is someone who's in that massive epiphany. Oh, it has to do with the courage. The confidence. See? See, you're confident. You know what you want. <laughs> you got this cancer and actually you could be the king of cups or the king of uh, the queen of cups here yeah see it has to do with courage the way someone conducts themselves it has to do with having faith yeah this could be someone here who <sighs> maybe isn't faithful i don't know well, it's definitely a person who's making a choice maybe between two people Maybe they chose somebody else and they still didn't get what they wanted. But it's a person who needs to, you know, like I say, someone failing to recognize an opportunity. Yeah, someone failed to see their own uh, behavior, the way they conducted themselves. Some definitely see Taurus. Some of you may have Taurus in your chart as well, but it has to do with two people being on the same page, the same path. Uh, wanting the same thing, lifestyle. It has to do with somebody having the courage uh, to be strong, to commit. See? Someone's lacking that courage. Tell me about justice. Yeah, something came to an end. See? This could be someone who's gotten a divorce or ended a relationship. I feel someone uh, was trying to manifest something here. And they never got what they wanted. Something ended. Okay? It's over. Something is finished. Yeah, but there it is. There's that birth of something new. With every ending comes a new beginning, so it has to do with investing. See, this is someone who's waiting patiently. It has to do with investing. This person wasn't invested, you see. Maybe they were invested in someone else. Whatever it is, it didn't go very far. Maybe there was a marriage and it ended, maybe a divorce, but it has to do with someone ended something because of the fear of commitment. Some Scorpio energy. It's energy of someone waiting for the right opportunity. Feel the Empress. I feel like you're patient. You're waiting. You're keeping your options open at the same time, so you're not really waiting. But it's waiting for communication. Eh, kind of looking elsewhere at the same time. That's <laughs> the Empress for you. That's the way it goes, though. If someone doesn't want to commit, well, then you're not going to sit around and, you know, waste time. You're not going to invest in someone who isn't invested in you. You see, and that's what it's about. It's also about um, timing. So there's something here to do with the timing. The timing was off. Now, I don't know if someone had just ended a relationship or um, there definitely was some, some confusion, maybe a little bit of a mystery, something that needed to be known. Tell me about this page of Pentacles. Yeah, see, this is energy of someone who's taking some lessons that they've learned, see? It's an energy of someone moving away to avoid a disaster, but I feel it's someone making peace with their past because they're looking at something that happened. See, they didn't invest, they didn't commit, so they may have been in a relationship but never got married, and the other person may have ended it. So, yeah, that's what it's looking like here. Yeah, and then we have the work. Someone's been doing some inner work. So it has to do with two people working together um, 
two people. It takes two people to build, you see? It takes two people. Both people have to get something they want, you see? I feel like you gave to this person. I feel like you indulged them. And eventually that's where you stop putting in the effort. It's too much work. So you're just kind of doing your own thing, focusing even on your own work. You know, I, I, you know I, I feel like you have other options around you where you're just keeping them open. <laughs> yeah, you got some choices possibly here, some of you. Tell me about this Hierophant. You know, this is school of hard knocks, someone learning the hard way. It has to do with faith, habits, traditions, behavior. See? I feel like this ended. They, there was someone here they were invested in, and it didn't go anywhere. I can see it. I feel they have a lot of regret. Someone feels, I'm gonna, someone even feels somewhat ashamed here of how something may be ended. Maybe they weren't faithful. It's like there was a two people here didn't get what they wanted, but I feel like it doesn't have anything to do with you. I feel like they're looking at something else that happened, why it ended. I feel they weren't faithful because they didn't get something they wanted from this person. And now they're looking at yourself here. So there's the truth. There's the light bulb, the aha moment, the epiphany. See, the truth is they have a fear of commitment. The truth is, this is someone seeing the truth within themselves here. They weren't faithful. So I feel this is someone who's doing some inner work. Tell me about this inner work. See, someone doing their inner work, shadow work. Yeah, see, someone who's trying to figure things out. A little bit of a player. Someone who's a little sneaky. But they didn't get what they wanted, see? Mm-hmm. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords. Someone here. It's an awakening energy, all right. The hangman, someone taking a pause, going within, looking at things from a different perspective. The other, your perspective, because you're no, I feel like you're not indulging them. Now, it could be you've ended it. You've just had enough. It's too much work. You've put in enough effort. Okay, maybe you're just tired of waiting. But I feel this is someone who feels they've missed the boat now. I feel they're at a crossroads that time in their life. This is somebody who's thinking marriage, but yeah, see, they keep doing the same thing over and over again. Habit, see, a pattern. This person's recognizing their own pattern. And some of you, definitely I can see, you're no longer indulging. You're not repeating mistakes of the past here. Oh, yeah, see, there it is. This is someone who's thinking about the future, happy home, happy life, either having children or, like I say, blended families, um, whatever the situation. It doesn't even have to be that. It has to do with family, okay? Having, having a family. This is somebody who I feel always wanted a family. They never really got it. But I feel it has to do with something to do with themselves, the fear of being faithful, the fear of committing, okay? Staying on that path, being faithful. Somebody has a habit of not being faithful. They keep doing the same thing again. And the reason is because they're afraid to commit, or they get bored. Let's have a look at that. Four of... Someone's going through it here. What's the life lessons being learned here? So tell me about the Four of Cups. Yeah, see? Walking away. Someone who gets bored, they walk away. Or if they don't get what they want, they just walk away. See? But it takes two people to build. you got two people looking for the same thing. Maybe both of you have been through the same energy. I don't know. Um, but uh, what I feel is they're going to offer you this cup. No more excuses. This person's breaking free, I feel, from this habit. They're seeing the bigger picture after taking the pause, you see. Uh, you know, it's the thoughts in their head, the stories they tell themselves in their head. They'll never get what they want. So it's an energy of someone who kind of starts things off that way. This is definitely an energy of someone seeing the bigger picture. See, breaking free from something unhealthy. Um, this person could have been someone who was, um, maybe somebody who was younger. Maybe they were obsessed with someone when they were young. And they really wanted this person. I've seen this in another reading. So it's coming out again. So of course, because there's um, those signs here. Yeah, someone who is obsessed here, 
with somebody who didn't give them what they wanted. They never got what they wanted from that person. The devil. I feel someone here just doesn't, absolutely, it's almost like this person's terrified to commit. Why are they so afraid to commit? Maybe they had an unhealthy relationship before, but it looks like someone who was obsessed with another person. Someone when they were younger, someone who was younger. Uh, it happened when they were young and they never got what they wanted. So as this person got older, maybe their paths crossed again and they started something, but it didn't go well. I can see that it didn't go well. Yeah, see, this person someone who needs to release all this negativity and time to heal. See, they need to invest in healing before they start something. So I feel this person's definitely going through that obsession. See, it's unhealthy habits, patterns. Um, yeah, they definitely are feeling the love, though. They definitely are they're coming out of this um, more mature, okay, more ready, but they feel like they've missed the boat. That time's run out. Yeah, there it is. See, a cycle ended. So somebody wants things to go in their favor. You see, it's about putting themselves out there, opening up emotionally. This is two people putting all their cups on the table. That's something that didn't happen. Communication, I'll tell you, it's all about communication. If you can't talk to somebody, you start a relationship with someone where you can't even communicate properly. I, I, I feel those are, you know, sometimes, sometimes they do work. People seem to find their way along. They learn kind of as they go. But a lot of times they're just destined to failure. And that's what I feel this person's seeing. You know, they have commitment issues and it's possible they weren't faithful. Okay, but it's also not having faith in themselves. So there's energy of having the confidence and the courage. See, this person, they are actually... I, I feel um, really, really looking at that. So there it is. See, this is the truth. This is what this person always wanted. It was a family. I feel they have children, uh, maybe from different uh, mothers, someone who thought, you know, was that right person. Um, but yeah, that's an energy of walking away. They've missed a magical opportunity, and I feel like that person is yourself. Somehow you're involved in this. Okay. Oops, a little ant probably came off the... Come on, little fella. Scoot. There we go. Picked the plant. <laughs> they sometimes, they're trying to escape. Uh, let's have a look at the four of wands or so there's some kind of truth or reason to celebrate here i feel this person's going to uh, reach out and offer you something you know someone coming back around they've definitely changed okay change of habit the way they conduct themselves and lifestyle there's definitely going to be a need for that but i don't know if you still feel the same i have to be honest it's the crossroads some of you may have a choice you may have other options i do feel they're kind of looking at that I feel like you're just keeping your options open. Yeah, I do see some fantasizing here. This person's fantasizing about being with you. So no, I don't know if you're this person that it ended with. Okay. But I feel they were obsessed with someone when they were young. It's like they were crazy about someone. It was very unhealthy. Um, so this is where I feel they weren't even on the same page with this person. They were at different levels. This person was younger or they were just kind of immature. I don't feel like it was them. I feel like it was the other person. Because I actually feel this is someone who really just wanted a family. And I feel they've never really got it. But I also see they've walked away from other opportunities. See, they've missed an opportunity with the Empress, which would be yourself. So there it is, see? This person's coming in, see? This is an energy of someone who's coming towards you. They want this to be successful. I feel this person's, you know, the epiphany. I feel like you already know some of this. Um, you know, I don't know if this is somebody who is still around you or in your world, but I feel like you're no longer giving to them, okay? No longer indulging them. So let's dig into your feelings a little bit more here, the Queen of Cups. Yeah, see? You're grounded, practical, sensible. You're more focused on your money right now. You've gone through some change as well. See? Time changes people. But you're focused on this. This is somebody here you probably, 
you know, seeing the future with you are probably crazy about this person. But I feel like you're more focused on your money. Okay? Yeah, so there it is. Other opportunities. You may have even offered this person something at some point here. See some Capricorn energy, some Taurus energy. I feel like some of you are a workaholic. You're um, definitely focused on something here. But I can see this opportunity. It's just a build. See, something started off on the wrong foot with you and this person. I feel like you waited, you know. I feel like you always kind of kept your options open, though. Um, but I feel like you're still kind of waiting, like, you know, for the abundance. You're waiting for something here. Um, for things, things are going to start shifting in your favor. This is somebody here who kind of feels like they never get what they want. But this is what they need to see. They need to offer you something reliable, something solid. See, a little sad. See, they're pulling back, seeing things differently. You see? Seeing things differently. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like you feel different now. Something kind of feels off. I don't know if you feel the same about this person. But it has to do with them, you know, reaching out here. You're different. There's something different. I feel like you're different now. Okay, I do. I feel like you're different. Um, maybe it's where you're breaking free from unhealthy patterns, habits, unhealthy relationships. You know, it could also be yourself because I do see a little mirroring, um, you and this person. Um, but I feel like you're different. It's like you're no longer focused on your love life. See? Yeah, it's the energy of breaking free. You're more focused on success. See, it's an energy where you play the field, you date, uh, you don't really find anyone that you can see going the distance with. Uh, it's like you want something different now than you wanted then. See, you've gone through change, you've, you've, you've grown up, you've become this Empress energy. But this person here is someone who needs to break free themselves, okay? Well, something wasn't successful here, see? Mm. Somebody's ego getting in the way here. It's often, like I say, I've got a person where the grass is always greener on the other side. They're looking at it. They know. They're aware. Okay? They are aware of self right now. And I do feel they focused a lot on themselves. It's all about me. They never took the time to look at how you felt. Somehow you're caught in the middle here. I, I can't quite put my finger on it, but and it could be just energies as well. So, but I feel this person's coming towards you. There's this energy of change. Um, I feel you took your power back from this person too. You broke free from this. It was, I feel, becoming kind of unhealthy. But there was this obsession. They were obsessed with someone else. You were obsessed with them. Now they're obsessed with you. You see, that's what I feel is happening. Because it's someone who realizes what they've done. So here they come, dating and courting. They're coming a call and finding the courage to reach out, to ask you out. They may have cancer in their chart too, but I feel this is you in control. You're the one with the power here now, you see. You're the one that now has the power because you took that power from this person. They had a lot of power over you before because you were crazy about them. So there it is. I, I feel this is someone who's taking a long look at their life. They're at that time in their life now where this person wants to commit. But now, they've dated a lot of people. They get a lot of attention. And they get chased. Okay, This is somebody who is a runner. But I feel they're coming for you here. I definitely feel they have Taurus or Capricorn in their chart. They have def There's definitely some earth energy here. And they're coming a calling, wanting to date you. Yeah, it looks like a reconciliation, a judgment. See, this person made a decision. They maybe even judged you wrong. Okay, I feel they just made a really bad life choice. But now they're at this crossroads in their life where they're starting to look back. So this is definitely a person who needed to heal. I feel this is someone who uh, starts something before they're healed too. Somebody who always wanted a family. Okay, I feel both of you. 
okay but this person really did they never got it but they're going about it the wrong way uh, that's the what i'm seeing so tell me about this um, seven of pentacles yeah see being stuck and stubborn kind of being selfish see no, but you're not budging. I can see you're no longer budging, see? They need to offer you something. If they want you, they need to come and get you. So somebody I feel who, you know, uh, you hear from them sometimes when they want attention and you're no longer giving them attention. So this is what's making them go through this. They're having that realization. Ma massive epiphany with that Empress energy, okay? It feels very, very strong here. This is someone who's kept themselves stuck in a habit, a pattern, self-doing. They were being stubborn. Well, you're no longer budging, see? You're no longer giving. See, they weren't reciprocating. They may have even been reaching out to other people. So something started, like it started off on the wrong foot. They were still crazy or they were involved with someone else. I feel they were obsessed with someone who wasn't giving them attention, somebody who uh, they were chasing someone else. Like it started at the wrong time. Things may have been different. But yeah, it's the judgment. See, this is this person. They're judging themselves. I can tell you that right now, big time. And it has to do with this person coming around, going through change. See, letting go of control. But you're the one with the power and they know it. You see? So this is that reconciliation. I feel a lot of that's a reconciliation with themselves. Okay, their habit, their lifestyle, their life, the school of hard knocks, they've learned. So someone who has to learn the hard way, you know, as a lot of us do. But yeah, they made a bad decision. So it's possible they're going to try to reconcile. See, this is into me, I see. This person's gone within themselves. Now you know who this is. Okay, trust your intuition. Remember, you're the one in control. I don't think you've a lot of you feel the same now it's hard to say if they start dating you they are traditional they will date you in a traditional manner okay i can guarantee you if this person comes in they're going to actually court you okay but they're going to give up control and just go with the flow and see what happens this person's actually very wise i do feel I don't think they'll tell you a lot of this that they're going through, but you're going to know because I feel like you know this person quite well, okay? Tell me more about the devil. I feel like you're just focused on money right now, <laughs> big time, yeah. You're definitely not giving up, but you see, you've put this person behind. So you're looking back at all this hard work, feeling a little beat up here. Queen of Cups, they feel beat up too with the King of Cups. They're not giving up. This person's not going to give up. They're not willing, but it's also an energy of surrendering. You see? This person's putting a something, putting a lot behind them. It's energy of moving towards something more successful. It's that realization. This uh, could have been. Ooh, woulda, coulda, shoulda. Yeah, there it is. Now this person's in a hurry. See? Some of you have multiple opportunities as well. You may have some choices to make. I feel like you're going to choose to keep your options open. Okay. And I definitely see this person fantasizing about connecting, bonding with you. They're definitely physically attracted. This is somebody who tries not to just chase someone because of the way they look. Okay. They really don't. I feel they're looking for that partner. Somebody who wants a family. It's what they really want, but they never get what they want. Because they it's they just don't go about it the right way. But you're not giving to this person. But see, you're both actually looking for the same thing. You both wanted the same thing. I feel like the timing wasn't right. Whatever it is that happened. I feel they were crazy about someone else. See? Looking for love. Walking away. This person, I'm telling you, they're looking at that loving woman. See? Three people. There may have even been too many people involved. A lot of gossip yeah but i look at this energy yeah the social circle mm -hmm. some positive news some kind of reunion uh, they're going to invite you to something here i feel like you know their friends and family at least most of you i feel like you know uh, some of their friends maybe even their family what their family feel here 
Oh, there's a connection. Their family see this connection. Ooh. For those of you who've met their family and friends, they, they, they see this connection, this bond. I feel like you're still friends. Well, maybe not so much. I feel like you've kind of moved on. You've given up. Um, but there's definitely a friendship. Uh, I feel like you really cared. You were kind and compassionate. Their family and friends see that too. Yeah, they're, they're very aware, I feel. There's actually probably been talk about this. Yeah. All right. Cancer. They may have Pisces in their chart, but it's telling you to trust your intuition. You already know everything you need to know. Okay. So if it feels right, you may go for it. If not, I feel like you'll just keep your options open. I think if this person invites you to talk, uh, to maybe meet someplace, I feel like you might go for it. It looks like an invitation to a house, a home, a party. Okay, I feel this person's waiting for you to invite them. I feel like you've invited them for dinner. You've invited them over. You've spent some time together. It does feel like friend zone, though. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is definitely somebody here who missed this beautiful connection. Yeah, see, they need to... This is their hopes and dreams with a family. Same as yourself. But it's an energy of releasing letting go of things that no longer serve this person definitely needs to let go of something some of you may need to let go of one person here okay like i say this is something to do with your hopes and dreams something you've always hoping you're gonna you're about to get something you want but i don't know if you still want it okay so it's telling you to just not rush into anything because i feel this person's in a hurry and some of you have several opportunities too okay Make sure this person's chasing you for the right reason. Because I feel they're uh, somebody here who's very attractive. They're used to being chased. They get a lot of attention. Make sure they're chasing you for the right reasons. And then we have the King of Pentacles. Yeah, someone very successful. I feel like some of you got, definitely now I can see two, for sure. Um, two people. You're going to choose the person, I feel, who gives you attention. Someone who's balanced, solid, reliable. I feel like they both have Earth in their chart, Cancer. For those of you where there's two. If there's only one, this is definitely someone who's successful. But I got to tell you, I feel like you're going to feel, if you have to make a choice, you're going to feel something is off with one, okay? Something isn't going to feel right. Make sure they're not chasing you now because you're successful. Because I can see um, you being successful. I feel like you've been working, okay? Um, while you're waiting you've been focused on work so if you're having more money more success it's, I feel like you're going to have to make a choice here don't make excuses for someone okay or if somebody makes excuses comes towards you and makes excuses about taking it to the next level then you're going to know uh, which person really isn't your person okay especially if you're feeling a little confused here but I still feel like you're going to keep your options open. Somebody is definitely fantasizing about you, though. It's connected with this King of Cups. Okay. Yeah, see? You know, somebody here just comes in when they want attention. They just want to be single. So that's the person I feel like you're going to move away from. You've got options here, whether you realize it or not. But there could be someone, like I say, was crushing on you, has never made a move. Uh, but I feel someone was obsessed with another person. And it was very unhealthy. It ended up being very unhealthy and unhealthy for yourself as well. So, but you are on your game here because you're the one with the power to control the situation. Don't be ruled by your emotions, you see? Don't be ruled by your emotions. Don't give too much to this person. That's the first thing you do is don't indulge them. Don't give too much. See what this person has to offer you, okay? And be open to receive with the Empress, okay? Be what you, that's part of the Empress energy is being open to it. Let this person shower the abundance upon you. Okay, you deserve more. You deserve better. Okay, okay. So you you're deserving of this. If you are in that category where you gave and gave and never got what you wanted, you kept indulging, and this person knows they didn't give you anything. They didn't give you anything you wanted. 
you know, maybe a little something here and there. But I feel like you put a lot of effort into this. So be open to receive. Not everyone's good at receiving. Maybe that's the last lesson you need to learn is to receive. Let them shower that abundance upon you before you give them anything. See, don't pretend, don't, don't audition to be the wife before you are. Okay, that's something you need to let go of. Because I know you're kind, compassionate, loving. You love to nurture and care for someone. You love that. So maybe some of you are missing family or you never had family. Or maybe your, your kids have gone off on their, you know, their own separate ways and you just love to have someone to nurture. But you deserve some of that too. Okay, know your worth and value. This person knows I'm going to tell you, they adore you. And I, I think their they're friends, their family, especially their family, if they have grown children, adore you. Okay? There's likely even been talk about it. So, okay, you're getting a heads up with the Queen of Pentacles to prepare. But I've got to be honest, I'm not so sure you're going to feel the same. If anything, it could be just making peace with the past and ab enable you to move on to someone else. Okay? Take care. I wish you the best. You've been on a journey here, let me tell you. Um, but I feel like you're going to get your hopes and dreams here yet. Okay? Never give up on love. It's okay. Stay balanced. Focus on your love life. Focus on your, uh, um, your work and career. So make sure you stay in that balanced energy. Okay? Don't give this person all your time and energy. Because I feel some of you were focused a lot in the past on your love life more than anything. And you kind of have wasted a lot of time. So stay focused on them finances. Okay? Take care. We'll see you soon.